There are many mysteries in the cosmos and much we do not understand, but how well do we really know our own solar system? Here are my top 10 strangest objects in the solar system that you probably have never heard of. Dwarf planet Haumea. The dwarf planet Haumea orbits in the Kuiper belt out beyond Neptune. It was first discovered in 2004. It's named after the Hawaiian goddess of childbirth. It has a mass which is about one third of Pluto's. Its surface is highly reflective and is thought to be composed of crystalline water ice features. This by itself is odd as crystalline ice forms at a temperature above 110 Kelvin whereas the surface temperature is below 50 Kelvin. At this temperature, amorphous ice should form. On top of this, the structure of the crystalline ice is unstable under the constant rain of cosmic rays and energetic particles from the Sun that strike trans-Neptune objects. This should mean that within less than 10 million years, the surface of the crystalline ice should have reverted to the amorphous ice. And yet, trans-Neptune objects have been in their present cold temperature locations for billions of years. It is thought to have a highly unusual shape, although this has not been directly observed, only inferred from its light curve. It also has small moons which appear to orbit almost exactly edge on to Earth. In October 2017, astronomers announced the discovery of a ring system around Haumea. It is the first ring system to have been discovered in one of the trans-Neptune objects. 1950 DA 1950 DA is an asteroid that is classified as a near-Earth object and categorised as potentially hazardous and once had the highest known probability of impacting Earth sometime in 2880. It was first discovered on the 23rd of February 1950 Observations showed that it is not a solid body, but a collection of rocks held together. So what exactly holds it together? Gravity presents some problems here, as the rotation rate is relatively fast at once every two hours, which would be sufficient to cause it to fly apart if it were held together by gravity alone. So what holds it together then? They now believe that the only way it could be held together is that there must be an additional electric attraction between the individual rocks that make up the asteroid. Body 288P Is it a comet or is it an asteroid? It is considered an active asteroid, which means that it is not a ball of dusty ice, but instead rocky and yet still display similar, in quotes, outgassing, or should we say discharge, seen on other comets. I would also argue that some comets show remarkable asteroid-like features, but let's not digress too much. Even stranger is that it is actually considered a binary active asteroid, meaning that there are two lumps of rock that seem to be orbiting each other and are slowly moving apart. Most binary objects are made up of one larger body with smaller moons orbiting it, but in 288P's case they seem to be both about the same size at about one kilometre and yet orbit each other at a distance of a hundred kilometres. At the moment they suggest that the, in quotes, outgassing is driving the two pieces further apart. I would be keen to see if this distance actually changes across a complete orbit, and whether there is a dynamic that alters the potential electric forces at one point versus gravitational forces at the other. Chiron Chiron is a small object orbiting between Saturn and Uranus as part of a group called the Centaurs. Although it was initially called an asteroid and classified as a minor planet, in 1989 it was found to exhibit behaviour typical of a comet. It has a highly eccentric orbit and brightens and displays a cometary tail on its closest approach to the Sun. It is now suspected that Chiron may also have a faint ring system. Saturn's moon Phoebe. Phoebe is the furthest of Saturn's moons and it has a few strange features. The first is that it orbits in what is called a retrograde orbit, meaning it is opposite of all the other moons in Saturn's system. Its orbit is inclined by 27 degrees from Saturn's equatorial plane, at a distance of about 250 Saturn radii. Surrounding Phoebe's orbit is a giant ring 
which is about 40 times as thick as Saturn. It is thought that this ring is created by Phoebe itself, possibly due to micrometeorite impacts on the surface, or could a similar process be occurring to those that we see on the asteroids that are behaving like comets, but on a much smaller scale. When scientists analysed the isotopic ratios of Saturn's ring and satellites, they discovered something rather remarkable. The ratio in the rings on all but one of the moons was an exact match to that found on Earth. The only outlier was Phoebe, whose composition had not been seen before, suggesting an origin far outside where it was now located. Niku Niku is an object discovered just past Neptune orbiting nearly perpendicular to the planets in the solar system. It is around 200 kilometers in diameter and seems to defy most of the rules of our solar system. Not only is its orbit tilted 110 degrees, but it is also a retrograde motion, meaning it is moving in the opposite direction to all the other objects in the solar system. Initially, astronomers suspected that a collision might have caused the strange backward orbit, but when they peered deeper into the black void, they discovered that Niku is not alone. It is part of an entire group of objects orbiting the Sun in this inclination and direction. Comet 29P It is one of the largest known comets and also the second most active body in our solar system. But this is no ordinary comet. Its near-circular orbit means it does not get any close to the Sun, meaning the idea that the distance to the Sun determines the activity of comet is highly questionable. The fact that most of the outbursts coincide with planetary alignments is also curious. Vesta is the second largest object in the asteroid belt second behind Ceres. It has a diameter of 326 miles and its mass is thought to contribute a staggering 9% of the mass of the entire asteroid belt. Its shape is very unusual having two huge craters with a peak that rivals Olympus Mons in height. Along the side of Vesta there are a series of deep grooves that have been cut along the surface. What caused this structure is a mystery. The surface of both basins are littered with evidence of electrical scarring. Iapetus Iapetus is Saturn's third largest moon. It is thought to be composed mainly of ice with only a small amount of rocky material. Unlike most of the larger moons, its overall shape is neither spherical nor ellipsoid. Instead, it appears as if both poles have been squashed, causing a bulging waistline. Perhaps the most striking feature is its highly unusual equatorial ridge. This is so high that it visibly distorts its shape when viewed from a distance. Electric Hyperion Many will be familiar with some of the incredible moons of our solar system, from the ice moons of Europa and Enceladus to the fiery Io. Many of these moons show evidence of electrical activity. Saturn has many moons and one of them hides an incredible secret. Hyperion is an irregular shaped rock that almost resembles a pumice stone. When Cassini flew by the moon, it discovered that Hyperion had a beam of charged particles emanating from the moon. This likely occurred as the craft approached too close and a discharge occurred to the Cassini probe for a brief moment. Now I'd be interested to know how many of these you actually knew and are there any that I have missed out? If so, drop them down in the comments below. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.